Shalom. First of all, I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Racha Kodash, and double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone who were well. Peace and salutation to all sincere Akim now there, of course, risking their lives and freedom to bring out this Amath, which is the truth of the scriptures. Of course, Yahweh being the true name of the Heavenly Father who the world ignorantly calls God, and his only begotten Son's name is Yahweh Shai who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Bahashem mean in the name, Racha is spirit, Kodash is holy. That's what, of course, I uttered in the Paleo Hebrew and the Lashwan Kodash, which is the Holy Tongue. Uh, of course, uh, the language of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. The language that, of course, has been returned unto us, which are the Lord's chosen people, which are the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of the so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right. Brother Mafa, Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp, located here in Great Babylon, which is America. Coming again with another We Lesson due to Racha Kodash. This is off of DailyMail.com, and it says, Russia tests new nuclear weapons that can strike anywhere on the planet to wipe out an area the size of France and military footage. It says, um, they got in the bullet points, it says, uh, the Russian Defense Ministry footage shows an RS-28 Sarmat missile launch. It can carry 10 large four warheads. 16 smaller ones are a combination of both. Each Thurman and nuclear warhead is capable of being aimed to hit different targets. Sarmat is capable of carrying up to 24 avant garde hypersonic guide vehicles or yeah, glide vehicles, Slakia, which means forgive me or excuse me. Avant garde is said to travel at Mach 20 and can be armed with the nuclear payload currently there is no existing defense against this type of technology which uh this is just telling you um that of course yahweh bashim yashai has armed up these the uh, russians which they are edomites all right vladimir put putin he's an edomite or in the scriptures they're known as gog and magog um also uh you have here say an example i'm gonna bring out a precept the Medes, they'd be the uh, the Medes in certain scriptures and such. All right, so I'm I'm gonna get to this first scripture, and this is Isaiah, the 54th chapter, and the 16th verse, and it reads, "Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals." A smith, of course, he is one who creates right weapons. All right, like a, a blacksmith and such. Okay. Which uh, Hebrew word you got Kharash right here for smith. Which, uh, let me go into this word. This is just through the word Chakodash. A craftsman, artist, artist, engraver. All right. So you have that a craftsman. And this is a craftsman, a mason. You know, a maker of what? Of weapons and such when you go into it. All right. In this uh, particular context in which we're in. All right. Going back, it says, "Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire." Now, this, of course, is being used. You know, uh, of course, speaking of the so-called German scientists who created, you know, splitting the atoms and, you know, going into, of course, uh, creating nuclear weapons. Okay, that. And anyway, going on, it says, And that bringeth forth the, an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. And that's a nuclear missile. That's what is a, what's going to bring forth this destruction. Which um, is prophesied to happen to America upon this planet. Which America is going to be a complete desert by these nuclear missiles. Alright, you got uh, the, the word for waster. Actually, I wanted to go to uh, this word for instrument, which is uh, kalaya, kalaya, and it means here for uh, instrument, it got implement of hunting of, of our war. You got, uh, um, let me see what else we got here. Yeah, that's basically what I'm going to use right here. Uh, right here, hunting the war. I mean, 
you know, if you have this particular missile or this particular instrument that was created for new was uh the ICBM missile, intercontinental ballistic missile, which when we go into uh the technology and such, um, it of course has uh ability to go from one continent to another, all right, to bring forth destruction, which there's multiple uh you say uh multiple um you say uh for the lack of words it's gonna it's gonna bring forth multiple amount of the destruction within a warhead all right which uh we're we're gonna get into it slocky for the uh the lack of words at the time but uh I'm just gonna go back now here because uh, a lot of people don't know that this has been of course written in the Bible. All right, so going on, it says nuclear super weapons that Vladimir, Vladimir Putin claims can strike anywhere on the planet are being tested by Russia. Military footage has revealed, all right, in which uh, I'm going to go to another scripture. This is Isaiah, the 13th chapter, and uh, the 17th verse, it says, Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them, which shall not regard silver and as for gold, they shall not delight in it. All right, what, what, who are we talking about? We, the, the Medes is, of course, uh, dealing with so-called um, Russians. All right, because they're in that area um, where you go into the ancient maps and such. You'll see Medes are uh, when you go into, I think that's the media. Let me see, I have to go and check real quick. But, um, you know, you could go into it. Going to the map, but that's speaking, of course, about Russia. All right. Yeah, right there, media. I got it there. But basically over there in the uh, territory of the, uh, the east. All right. Now, uh, going on, you know, these, uh, when it comes down to this destruction, which is coming uh, to this planet, you know, the, the these Russians, they're not going to back up. All right, you know, and say, hey, uh, you know, can we can we uh, not do this war, which is World War Three, which was prophesied to happen in the scriptures and which, uh, you know, I'm going to get to those scriptures. Um, for example, you have. Uh, revelations, uh, you have. Um, throughout the book of Revelations, uh, like they say, uh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I believe that's in Revelations 8, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and I believe it might be in this chapter as well. About uh, the, what is it, the second woe is past? Yeah, one, yeah, like, so yeah, here, hey, Revelations 9 and 12. One woe is past, and behold, there come two wo two woes, or destruction. Woe means destruction. More here hereafter. Of course, that's going into, um, you know, World War One is past, and behold, two war, two two woes come thereafter. World War Two, and then of course World War Three. All right, when you go into it, in which uh, you know, these chapters, of course, you know, go into those you know different wars and such. All right, the Book of Revelation is it's all, you know, the um, the destruction and the, the history of this world is in the Bible. All right, just you know to bring that out. So, it's going to happen via these missiles, which uh, I'm going to go back to the article and um, read some more. And it says here, it says, nuclear super weapons that Vladimir Putin claims can strike anywhere on the planet are being tested by Russia. It says, daunting images support to show the latest round of tests for missiles, which the military say are capable of wiping out an area about the size of Texas or France. Says the RS SARMAT missiles are capable of striking targets via both the North and South Poles and can carry more nuclear warheads than any other missile on the planet. All right, so this RS SARMAT, all right, because uh, within them you got the missile, you know, the in the warhead. All right, you have of course, um, you know that destructive power, which uh, I'm gonna go to. Book of Revelations, the ninth chapter, and I'm going to go to verse 16. Uh, it says, In the army of the 
and it says in the number of the army of the horsemen were two hundred thousand thousand and I heard the number of them so of course here you had uh, John the Revelator he received um, the vision all right of this destruction and within it he seen America being destroyed all right as other prophets of Yahweh Shemuel Shai have received as well so he of course described these missiles um, you know as uh, you know you got here as horsemen all right and he tried to explain it as best he can and of course way he can at the time all right so say for example reading on it says and thus I saw the horses in the vision and them that sat on them having breastplates of fire and of jinx and brimstone and the head of the horses were like the heads of lions and out of their mouths issued fire and smoke and brimstone all right and this is of course describing the nuclear missile and such all right when you go into it which uh you know i'm gonna highlight some more things it says for their powers in their mouth and in their tails for the tails were like unto serpents and their heads and and had heads and with them they do hurt so of course you know um within of course the nuclear missile and such all right uh you know of course it's uh it's uh when you go into it the you is being of course powered all right you know uh of course you know this is all nuclear and such and it, it of course uh goes you know icbm going across another continent all right to hit another continent and of course within it you know uh you have that warhead in which it does all the damage and such you know so uh you have the description you know here all right you know he he described it you know power in their mouth and in their tails all right and their tails were like a serpent you know so he you know, just described he described a missile you know as a as a serpent and such all right so i mean you know it's pretty pretty uh plain if you have a a a uh a vis you have an ability to see these scriptures come to life and such all right which I mean, you know, I broke it down and went more in depth with certain things, but you know, this is what the Rakha Kodash got coming out right now. All right. So, uh, yeah, you know, you have uh, in the mouths issue fire and smoke and brimstone. You know, that's gonna bring that destruction. All right. So, uh, going on uh, back to the article, um, it says. Uh, That uh, what what's more, the this the RS seventy eight Sarmat missiles are able to deliver up to twenty four of Russia's new avant-garde hypersonic gliders, each of which can carry its own nuclear payload. There is currently no method of defense against the avant-garde cruise missiles, which can allegedly travel at twenty times the speed of sound. Putin said that the Sarmat and avant-garde will be combat ready by 2020 and that's uh basically it i mean it's gonna be ready when you how about you shy have it ready simple as that whenever this destruction and whenever of course he had the angels loose uh you know the uh you know the, the winds of this destruction that's coming all right so which is gonna destroy america and other places all right i mean you can read the rest of the article um you know, and see some of these different nuclear um, weaponry, all right, ICBMs and such. You know, uh, it's uh, excellent, you know, when you just go into it. But I'm just going to leave it basic like that. Uh, you know, call Allah, you know, how about Shem, Shai, about Shem, Rukha, Kodash, and double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone. These salutations all since Shachim. You know, if you're uh, edified. And, uh, you know, look out, of course, for, you know, uh, more things in the news. I mean, Donald Trump, I just see, got an article that uh, D Donald, of all, Putin rejected the invite to Washington. Uh, like it says, Kremlin, Russia is not ready to accept Trump's invite to Washington. You know, and it's just, you know, showing you that, you know, 
these uh the Russians and uh with the Russians and say like so called Americans are they both Edomites Trump and all that it was the king of Babylon you know they're not at peace with each other you know though they try to you know claim uh you know they are at this time they're definitely not Yahweh Shemashai is gonna put the spirit on them bring forth this destruction all right with that I'm gonna say Shalom.